Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Distant Worlds Universe, Episode 7, and I'm pausing the game to jump right into it. So, last time, actually, let me pause the game real quick <laughs> again, because last time we left off, and I gotta go over it real quick, we had our exploration ships going out, we had uh, made a somewhat ally, or at least we have a potential ally now with us on the screen here, and, uh, oops, that's not, I misclicked there, and, uh, well, I guess I didn't misclick, what am I trying to get here? Oh, the diplomacy screen. Uh, so yeah, we found these guys here and basically we're just trying to uh, maybe improve relations a little bit with them They like our style of government. That's good. So I, I have a feeling we're gonna be pretty close to these guys um, What is their firepower right now? 629. That's actually pretty good um, Considering that ours is zero Well not zero. I think we need a little bit of firepower from our Stations, but other than that, we're not really sitting all that great. All right, now I'm going to unpause the game. Uh, jump into here. We've got our construction ships on standby. Just completed research and high-density allies. Okay, here's what I actually need to do. I need to go through and construct our, uh, or work on our uh, military ships here so we can start getting some escorts, some frigates, and destroyers built up. I think that's definitely something we need to do. So let's do a, uh, let's auto-upgrade each of these. And that made the uh, destroyer unbuildable, which is fine for now. Um, because I'm mainly going to be focusing on escorts and frigates. And so, Mark II, let's throw on five armor. Let's throw on a combat targeting system. A countermeasure system. And, sort this again. Shields, we'll put 200 shields on. Alright, let's get the important thing now, so the hyperdrive component, as well as the categories where I'll sort this by. So our warp bubble generator, uh, we're going to need our, let's see, we're going to need, we're traveling at 1200 with that. I kind of want to give it a little bit more firepower, firepower 30 is not very much. Let's take off one of these concussion missiles and put two railguns. Do I want these guys to be more short range or long range, actually? Actually, I take that back. Take off the rail guns and put some long range guns on. Two long range guns. Well, that's even less firepower. Okay, I take it back again. Rail guns. Four rail guns. That gives us a firepower of 42. Pulse blaster. Two pulse blasters. That gives us a firepower of 60. Okay, and that's where we're going to keep it at that. Now, the uh, traveling speed's a little low, so I do need to throw maybe one more engine on here. Uh, as well as um, two directional thrusters, I think. This is going to be very expensive. A very expensive escort. <laughs> but it's going to be pretty important. Uh, playing at the game at the level that we're playing, I'm going to need to try to give myself any boost I can. What else do I want to throw on here? I'm not going to worry about uh, energy collectors right now. I'll get that a little bit later. Uh, the basic proximity array. Um, I think I will not worry about this. Enables a ship or base to see other ships or bases within scanner range. This provides a radar-like capability. It also allows tracking of a target as it jumps into hyperspace. This improves the ability to pursue an enemy if it flees battle. Ooh. Actually, yeah, I am going to throw that on there. How much does it take up? Only four. Or three, actually. Yeah, I'll throw that on there. And how many reactors do I have? I could throw one more reactor. Then we go a little bit over our design, our, our size. But I would like the extra reactor. What can I take off then? So we're 290. Maximum size is 276. Uh, there's not too much I could actually take off, really, at this point. So I may take off two rail guns. Yeah, and that gets us right there. Okay, so firepower 46. That's not bad. Maintenance cost of 345. Yeah, that, that's pretty good, actually. So we're going to stick with that. Uh, the frigate. Let's go through and do the frigate quick and get it out of the way. So we'll throw on a... Uh, Five enhanced armor for now, or what? Do, wait, what did I do on this one? I don't remember now. Um, let's go to edit, and I can see here. 
Yeah, five. Okay, so let's do for the frigate. Let's actually change that. Uh, let's do ten. We'll make the frigate a little bit tougher. Uh, but it'll be somewhat slower. So let's make ten. Let's do... Four. Sh no, whoa, that's already way over already. Okay. So ten of this, however. Take a couple off. It does have a lot of concussion missiles. And I don't really need that many. So let's pull off two of those. Okay. Let's put our warp bubble generator on here. 1,200. Not too great. Um, how about some torpedoes? Alright, I can only get one right now. What else can I take off? Let's take off one of the ion thrusters, just for now. Um, I probably won't be building any of these anyways until we get uh, larger ships. Honestly, yeah, I won't. I probably shouldn't even bother with this. You know what? I'm not going to bother with it. Kind of a waste of time, but I'm not going to bother with it right now because I, I am researching larger ships after... I probably should actually research that a lot earlier. Well, I guess I couldn't have because I was stuck on warp field precursors forever. Um, so after the advanced nuclear fission's done, I'm almost tempted to change that. Let's change it. Let's go straight for the next ship construction, then we'll work on advanced nuclear fission second because this is going to uh, increase the size, uh, construction uh, ship size up to 230 for a lot of these. Which gives us even larger ship size because we get the bonuses. So we definitely need that. That's something we need. Uh, so I can build much larger ships. Let's go into our ship planner real quick. I keep clicking the wrong one there. Uh, our construction yard. And we're going to build ourselves a couple of these escorts. So escort Kobe. Let's purchase. Uh, I like Kobe. That's what we're going to call him. So let's purchase. How about four of them? Yep. We'll get four of them knocked out it's gonna uh affect our cash flow a little bit but four should be more than enough to knock out these giant kelters i think maybe not we'll find out they're moving around all over the place where are they going they keep trying to get down here to get these ships hurry up get out of there there you go the other one should be jumping soon and where's the other giant kelter he's not heading this way is he no it doesn't look like it but we definitely lost him oh there he is just floating in the middle of space there uh, hanging out around this asteroid. And our exploration ships are uh, finishing their missions here. So let's go take a look at this one. See what he found in this system. And what do you got? Uh, some helium on that planet. Not too bad. Ooh, there's another planet with a lot of good gas on it. So definitely something worth building a gas mining station at. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Alright, and that's pretty much the only thing we seem to have in that system is gas. Or fuel for that matter. And I don't know if I really want to. I mean it's going to be. Here's a thing like it seems like a good thing now. But if I put a fuel source there. It might be too close to our home. In the future. But I guess that's something I can remedy. When the future comes. So yeah. Let's queue up a, uh, a gas mining station. On that planet. Grab our explorer there. And we'll send him to. Hmm, let's send him to actually, how much fuel does he have? It's still a good amount. Let's see if he can reach here. So let's send him to uh, explore this system. It's going to take him a second. And uh, one of these construction ships should head over and start building that gas man uh, mining station there. And then I can have my refuel, sh or my exp exploration ships kind of do some refueling at that station. That's what I'm trying to say. That's where I'm trying to get at. Hopefully get our escorts built soon. How's that going? Keep clicking that screen there for some reason. All right, 96%. So what are they? Are they waiting on something? How am I doing on cargo? Um, definitely need to start boosting some of these resources. However, we do got a lot of luxury resources, especially since we have so many on our home planet. Oh, they're just right here. They're getting ready to get put on. Okay, so those escorts should be popping out any second now. Oh, that's funny. So look at this. This is like what just happened here. So we got all of our escorts there. What's really funny, and you're going to see this here, is uh, so our intelligent agent came back with the territory map from these guys. However, they just offered to do a territory map swap. 
So I already know, okay, they only got two systems, so nothing too crazy. I didn't know that, that they had two colonies, but I can kind of see where they've explored and it looks like they haven't really done much exploring at all. Or I guess I only did a territory map, not a galaxy map, so I can't see where they explored. But uh, there's their two systems there. Um, oh, there's a lot of planets in that system. All right. And is that their home planet there? It looks like it. Wow, 35, 7% uh, scenery boost from the uh, rings of uh, Tan, Maj uh, Tan Major there on that planet. So they're getting a 37% scenery bonus from that. That's pretty nice. All right, well, they want to offer uh, territory maps. I'm just going to say no thanks because we've already uh, discovered their territory. So there's no reason for me to do that now. Uh, and I, the less they know about me, the better. They could be potential allies, but they could also be potential enemies. And I just noticed that our ships uh, spawned in as uh, they're all they're auto automatically uh, automated there, and I don't want that to happen. So no, they're not. Okay, so they're just set to defend the the uh, yeah. That's what's going on. They're they're set to defend the system, and so I can actually go through. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna create a fleet with them. So let's go to military ships. Here they are. And uh, we can actually uh, go through and select all of these ships and we'll... All right, where is it? Select those ships and we can actually uh, do a new fleet with those. So first fleet. Um, yeah, we'll call them first fleet for now. I'm fine with that and then we can rename them after that. But yeah, so now they're all part of the first fleet. And then we can actually go into our fleet screen and kind of set up what we want them to do. So. Uh, that's going to be their home, uh, Dakar Prime, and we'll have them uh, set that as their home colony there. And I think that's going to be fine for now. They're going through and clearing out the system. So yeah, we'll leave them uh, as system defenders. Actually make sure that that's what they're here to do. Uh, I thought it was right down here, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, somewhere's right here. Yeah, currently system targets. Yeah, so any uh, enemies in the system, they'll engage, and we'll leave it like that. So that gives us four escorters defending uh, our area here. How's the exploration doing in these systems? So this guy is all the way out here, which means he must have been attacked by something. What do we have? Uh, um, some Aculon, that might be useful. And then a little bit of gold and iridium. But other than that, nothing else. So let's have him go and explore this one here. All right. And how about you? Ooh, there's something in the system. Oh, interesting. Uh, Kappa Mining Station. Uh, an abandoned mining station. Hmm. Crystal Star. The lithium crystal. Cool. Cool. Nice little source of dilithium crystal there. Uh, there is some space slugs here. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go and maybe repair that uh, mining station. Uh, that's something I'm not going to be able to do at this time. Uh, I don't want to send my escort fleet out of my home system just yet. It's a little too risky for me. Uh, I'm not a bad planet there. What is uh, on this ring here? Ooh, uh, another luxury resource. Uh, ter uh, Terra Lilian? Ter Terillion? Yeah, Terillion down. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so Terillion down here. Uh, it is a common luxury resource. Probably not anything we'll need right now. But uh, something to keep in mind. Kappa. And where do I want to send this expiration ship here? Let's uh, send him here. Right? Yeah, let's just do that. It's going to take him a while to get there, but that's okay. We've got uh, plenty of time right now. And our ship here should be finishing up that that uh, gas mining station soon so that'll be very useful like I said my exploration ships there to do a little bit of uh, refueling so not an issue not an issue at all I do need to build a couple more mining stations I should have one more construction ship hanging out so let's see where do I want to put up some more mining stations um, definitely want to throw one up on here and uh, definitely one up on here to, to get some of this uh, ivory 
And uh, some of this as well. But uh, we'll just queue that one up for now. And that'll keep those busy. Where is this? My fleet here just hanging out. Let's actually uh, select the fleet here. And what I want to do is actually I'll just select the whole fleet. That'll be a lot easier. Where is my fleet? My fleet. Uh... Here they are, fleet. So let's take our first fleet here and let's set them off to refuel and repair. Since they took a little bit of damage from the giant Keltors. And uh, go back into our character screen here. And actually one thing I want to do, and I almost forgot, is I want to get some of these ship captains on. Some of these ships here. So let's throw uh, that ship captain on there. And I'll keep the other ship captains just hanging out because I want to throw them some other fleets I plan to build. But let's uh, put him with the first fleet. The first fleet is going to eventually turn into our homeworld, def uh, homeworld defense fleet. So we'll get him there and see how well uh, he has uh, skill-wise. And let's uh, send this ambassador to this system here. We'll start working on improving relations with them. So moving some of these characters around here. And then uh, let's see what we can do with one of these... Uh, one of these intelligence agents. So he's got an espionage of plus 14%, uh, which is really good. It's going to let us, uh, he's going to be able to infiltrate and steal things a lot easier. So what what do we want to steal here from the friends that we're trying to make? And you think we can get some uh, research? Probably not. Ooh, 72%, not worth it. How about their galaxy map? 85%. Um, yeah. See if we can get their galaxy map here. And I'm going to slow the game down just a little bit now. Just a little bit. Alright, our intelligent agent has acquired uh, a new trait. So, measured, which is pretty good. So, concealment plus 10% and psyops plus 10%. Awesome. So, our intelligent agent's sitting pretty good, actually. Alright, exploration ships are heading out. We've actually got this system explored here. So, let's go take a look. And nothing in here. Just a big star. All right, that's fine. Let's send him back then to go uh, refuel. And he should refuel right here at our new gas mining station. And what else do we have in the system here? So things are starting to pick up a little bit, as you can tell. Nothing else. Let's send our... Uh... Oh, no, because he'll refuel at the re uh, nearest station. What I want him to do is I want him to go uh, back to our home world. So let's send this construction ship back to our home world. And uh, we'll send him out in another mission shortly. Alright, he's about to reach that star system there. And how's research going? Let's take a look real quick. So, improved assault tactics. And then we're going to go for uh, enhanced beam weapons, I think, will be the next one. Alright, we've almost got ship construction. Then we're moving into advanced nuclear fission. Alright, almost got transport systems. And then we're going to move into... Uh, enhanced commerce and open trade network. All right, so I'm happy with all of those right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have I'm going to send this uh, exploration ship off to refuel and then maybe explore this uh, black hole here and see if we can't get a research bonus from there. Uh, I think that would be really useful. Let's see what's in the system. Slow down the game just a little bit more because a lot of things are starting to happen now. All right, got some planets here. Uh, nothing that looks really colonizable. Those, those are some really small moons. All right. So nothing that looks too colon uh, colonizable for us as of right now. He's going to go check out this little asteroid here. Oh, not bad. Some gold and some iridium. That's not bad for that. All right, let's let him keep going. We'll take a pop in that system and see what's going on when he's done. All right, so transport systems have been completed. Uh, real quickly, what I want to do is I want to... I always click on the wrong screens when I get to this part of the thing here. I want to go through and go to our state ships, and I want to design a... Um, a troop transport ship. So I'm going to add a new ship. Roll is going to be a transport ship. Let's see if I can find it. Troop transport, there we go. Evade, uh, weaker opponents, all weapons. Evade immediately, sh uh, f flee when shields are 50%. I'm fine with that. And uh, let's throw some of the stuff on here. So reactor components, we'll just kind of throw them on here as we go. So let's go with two reactor components for now. We'll throw our warp bubble generator on. Uh, we need a command center. Here we go. We'll throw our... We don't need a combat targeting system. My troop transports aren't going to have any weapons on them. 
uh, at least not of uh, not as of right now. I don't want to put any weapons on them, but we'll put the countermeasure systems on there. That'll help them dodge enemy fire. Uh, they may be sitting around a bit, so we'll put some energy collectors on there. Let's get some fuel storage units now. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. I think we'll do it for now. All right, we'll need a couple of engines. Um, I want these guys to kind of move in quick, drop troops troops off, and move out of the battle as fast as possible. So let's go with uh, 15 engines for that. And hyper is 13. Let's throw one more basic space reactor on there. There we go. Just max out the hyper. And uh, what else do I need? Troop module components and uh, vectoring engine component. Correct. So we need our... Uh, the ability to be able to maneuver these. Where is it? Directional thrusters. Uh, we'll go with five, six. That'll let them move pretty quickly, I think. Standard troop compartment. So 200, 300, 400, 500. I think that'll be okay. So 500 troops. They need to be pretty bulky defense-wise so that they don't get blown up because I don't want to lose my troops. So I think that'll be okay. And now we're a little bit over our size. So let's tear some stuff off. Let's tear off two engines. One of these standard troop compartments for now. And uh, what else do I need? Have and life. So let's throw the have and life on. Then I'll tear a few more things off as I need to. So four hab. And four life. And we'll call this. Uh, just call it a uh, troop. Transport, maybe, or... Ooh, what's a good name? Um, how about ground... No, wait. Uh, how about... Force... Deployer. Yeah, Force Deployer. Something like that. Yeah, I like that. Force Deployer. Deploys our force on other planets. I'll deal with that. Now we gotta tear some stuff off here, some more stuff to f actually meet our our uh, size limit. At least for now, we're about to uh, research that, so hopefully shortly we won't have to worry about that. I guess I'll just tear off um, another engine and a couple of enhanced armor. There we go. That'll be fine for now. So, our force deployer. Uh, I'm not gonna build any right now anyways. Ooh, and a civilian ship. Now I can build civilian ships. Um, yeah. Uh, I won't worry about those right now. Uh, not till I discover a planet anyways that I can colonize. So, yeah, this is where we're going to cut this episode off here. So, uh, we're doing a lot of exploration now, starting to kind of get a feel for what's around us. I think we'll probably explore this uh, black hole soon, see if it, it's not a good place for us to set up a research station. And uh, kind of making some friends with these guys over here. So, let's just take a look real quick at the uh, diplomacy screen. So, yeah. Not too bad, I don't think. I think these guys are going to like us a lot. Uh, they naturally like us. They like our government. Uh, they're going to res respect our good reputation over time. And they're slowly... Uh, the distrust is starting to go away, which is really going to help us out. So I think that's going to be pretty good uh, for us in the long run. So uh, I just want to go over this real quick. Uh, so population, they uh, outpopulate us uh, for territory. Obviously, they've got the two colonies. Economy, yeah, they're way ahead of us. Strategic value, once again, ahead of us. Military strength, way ahead of us. But we're kind of halfway for these, so we are starting to catch up. And then top colonies, uh, ours is second to their uh, second colony, which is third. And they've got their first colony up there. So, yeah, pretty much that's what I expected, but... Uh, yeah, so we got a lot in store for us next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time.